Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I couldn't wait to do this tutorial because I finally got the palette I've been trying to get for the longest time and I finally got it. So now I'm going to do a tutorial with this palette. It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I've been trying to get this palette for weeks now and either they were sold out or I just didn't have the time to go to the store. So I finally got it and I'm going to do a look with this palette for you guys. So let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so now I'm going in with the transition color Burnt Orange. I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm starting from the outer corner to the inner corner of my eye and blending all over. You want to blend really well. Now I'm going into my crease with the color Real Gar and I'm using a smaller, more dense brush so that the color could be more concentrated into the crease. And you want to blend really well also. Now I'm going in with Red Ochre to define the crease some more. Do you guys see how this color is gradually building up? Blending is key guys. Just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going in with the color Love Letter on the lid. I'm just going to pack this color on until I've got the desired amount. This color is a very gorgeous reddish pink color. I really, really love this color. Now I'm going in with this beautiful shimmery pink color into my inner corner eye, the in, into the inner corner of my eye. Um, this is going to give my eyes some life, y'all. Y'all know how I feel about giving my eyes life. And that's what I'm doing. Just put it right into the corner of your eye. Now I'm going back in with the color Red Ochre under my lash line. I did my eyeliner off camera guys because it's always a struggle to do my eyeliner. So I'm just going to keep building this color on. Now I'm on to the face guys. I'm using the LA Pro Concealer to conceal my dark circles. Oh yeah guys, I didn't use any foundation in this tutorial. Um, the only thing I used was a little bit of um, tinted moisturizer. So this is more about the eyes. And that's the reason you guys maybe can see my blemishes. I just didn't want to put on any foundation.
Now I'm going to bake for a little while. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm setting the areas I use to conceal. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm still baking. Now I'm putting my lashes on. I absolutely love these lashes. They give your eyes a flirty look. I got these lashes from Amazon. I'm not sure um, where or the name of it, but these are really, really gorgeous lashes. So now I'm going in with my Manga Voluminous Mascara. This mascara give me life. I can't live without this mascara. It really gets to those bot. It really get these bottom lashes. Like really. I'm going back in with red ochre to my bottom lash line just to define the color some more. Contour time guys. Okay, so now I'm going in with NYX contour palette. I'm using the darker shade. I'm going for a really chiseled look guys. I'm going to really chisel my nose. But make sure you guys blend, blend, blend. Blending is key. You don't want to look like you have two streaks going down your nose. Just blend it out. Now I'm using the Real Techniques brush to brush away the setting powder that I applied earlier. And I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit palette. I'm using the color Sunburst. It's a really pretty color. Um, I love, love... Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Glow Kit. On to lips. I'm using a vampy red lip color. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this color, guys, because I'm not used to wearing dark colors on my lips, but we're going to give it a try to see what it looks like. Okay, so I've decided to try a lighter color on my lips also. I'm now lining my lips with pink. I'm now lining my lips with a pink. 
pink lip liner I'm not sure who it's by it doesn't have the name on it but I've had it for a long time now I'm going in with this bright pink lippy I absolutely love this color um, I'm going in with a brighter pink on top of the first pink color. I absolutely love this color. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on any looks you'd like for me to do, just please leave it in the comment below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.